Welcome back to Quitna, ladies and gentlemen. Even though it's definitely not the middle of December, we're still going to spend a little time talking about Christmas scanning. So, oh. That's Jason Bourne. So before we talk about Xmas or Christmas scanning, let's just kind of talk about scanning in general. So scanning is when a pen tester or an attacker scans the network to try to find vulnerabilities, right? We're poking around to see if there's a way into the network. So what we do is we create a very kind of special crafted packet and we're gonna send it to our target. And based on the target's response, it's gonna tell us very valuable information, such as is the port open, closed, or filtered by a firewall, okay? So now we kind of have the context of scanning. Let's dive into what a Christmas scan is. So we're talking about a Christmas scan. We're talking about a, a specially crafted packets that has a whole bunch of flags lit up on it. That's why it's lit up like a Christmas tree. So what we have here is the three flags. We have the push, the urge, and the fin. Now normally under networking kind of operations, these all have legitimate uses. But when we combine them all together, it's what we call like an illogical or illegal operation. So again, this is nonsense. It's mumbo jumbo, it doesn't make any sense. So if we're gonna send this packet to the target, now, we can learn something about how the target reacts. So normally, when a target sees this combination of, of packets that's just, again, illogical, what it's going to do is just drop the packet. So if you think about it, I just gave you the answer to the question right there. If the target, under normal operations, is simply going to drop the packet, what does that mean? That means this should get no response. So that means the packet actually made it to the target, and that means the port is open, right? So that's the answer right there. But let's talk about kind of why the other ones are wrong. Well, the port is closed. Well, the port's not closed, right? Because the packet was just dropped and you got no response. The port was closed if you would get a reset or a reset ACK, which is a kind of forced reset of communications, right? So it's not A. Now, it's not C, because I know port 21, FTP, but honestly, that's just a distraction, right? Just think about, simplify the question. Christmas scan, what's the response? Done. Nothing about port 21. We're very impressed that you memorized 421 is FTP. Not relevant in this question, okay? It's blocked by a stateful firewall. Well, actually, a Christmas scan can't check for the presence of stateful firewalls. Only an ACK scan can do that, so it's not C. And again, D is the wrong answer because of the same reason you have to do an ACK scan, but it's even more wrong because you wouldn't use an ACK scan to check for a stateless firewall. That doesn't make sense. You would only check for a stateful firewall. Why? Because a stateful firewall is a little more intelligent than a stateless, and the stateful can actually look for basically the state of connection. So it can read a packet and look at all these flags and make you know, decisions based on that context. But a stateless firewall, the less intelligent one, is only depending on like a pre-configured ACL list and it's gonna filter based on IP address only, right? So again, not intelligent enough to make these decisions, definitely not D. So if you're studying for your CEH exam or even domain six of the CSSP and it comes to scanning, I know it's very kind of tempting to just memorize. You can build a very easy chart with the scan type and the responses for the open or the closed port. But I would caution you and actually challenge you to actually understand it. Because when you understand it, actually scanning makes a lot of sense. So, and obviously when you understand it, you will have to do less memorizing. So it's a win, win, win. And also even better, if you really understand it, you will retain it better. You can use it in your career and just something magical happens when you learn for the sake of learning rather than for the sake of memorizing. So this is a lesson we try to tell all of our students, you know, understand to retain, learn to actually learn. So magical things will happen next week on Quitna too. We'll see you there. <laughs>